This is an interesting video that demonstrates how we could generate C-sharp code using stored procedure in SQL Server. In Windows form, you might have buttons to add record, edit and update, delete, reset text boxes, combo boxes. All these action buttons involve repetitive coding like declaration of variables, adding parameters, getting values from text boxes and combo boxes, or values from data grid view. Now I am going to demonstrate how this process could be automated. First let us see the structure of the table used in this video, then output from stored procedure, then finally the stored procedure. I have uploaded all these files in GitHub. Necessary link is provided in this video description. For this demo, I use a dummy database called Superstore DB. First, you need to create the store procedure called Generate C Sharp Code. We need to declare the table name and database name. See, for uh, to execute this code, execute this is the table name and this is the database. So, once you run this, you get an output which we, we could copy and paste it at the required places. See, this is the code. This is the output to reset all values. For example, billing number dot text is equal to string empty. Like this, every line of code is given. See, for example, insert query requires first the field name to be declared. Then you need the values to be declared. See here, the one one interesting part is you don't need to write anything other than table name and database name. So it will pick up all the values. In the case of insert query, you may not need that ID column to be inserted, so which you should remove before you inserting this code into C sharp. Similarly, you have code for adding parameters. Everything is getting automatically generated. You see actually, it, it uh, generates 160 rows for, for this database. Okay. So, what we are doing here is we create a temporary table called all generated codes. First, here how the text box and combo box are to be named. This entire coding will work only if we follow this structure. Otherwise, after generating this part, you need to take it to word file and modify the names. That's the only condition. And this is the code to generate text boxes to reset, which is this part of the output is taken care by this code. There are around 11 codes to generate major part of your repeated task in c -sharp. I'll be uploading this in GitHub. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. Your feedback on this video will help me a lot. Please leave a comment. To see more videos like this, consider subscribing.